Very good evening and welcome to news on Prime TV. A look at the headlines first. The president during a visit to Mihinthale mingles with the crowd at the weekly fair premises. The Prime Minister says the battle against terrorism was the result of collective efforts. The Malwa Thamahanaika tells the opposition leaders that people cannot be duped with false promises. The price of gas is also reduced, granting more relief to consumers. And on news overseas, 23 perished and over 60 are injured in twin blasts in Iraq. Well, now for the news in detail, the local news first. The people who surrounded the president during a visit to Mihintale have said he is their leader who liberated them from the clutches of terrorism. The president visited the weekly fair premises at Mihintale today. After arriving there this morning, the president inspected the activities at the weekly fair. A large number was frequenting the fair to purchase their daily requirements. There were many traders doing business. On hearing the president's arrival at the fair, traders as well as consumers surrounded him with the intention of having a word with him and paying tribute. A notable feature was the opportunity afforded by the president for them to talk with each of them separately. The commander-in-chief who protected the country also received the blessings of the clergy. Members of the Mahasangha blessed the president who paid homage to the Jayasri Mahabodhi. The Mahasangha led by the chief incumbent of the Atamastana, the Venerable Pallega Masirinivasathera, blessed the president and wished him success in moulding a bright future for the nation as he liberated the motherland from the terrorists. Prime Minister Ratna Siri Vikramanayake has said the victory in the recent battles against the LTE was due to the collective efforts of the armed forces, police, the civil defense services and the people. He emphasized that no one can claim the credit as that of a single person. The role of the armed forces in our country has been appreciated by many abroad, whether they are local or foreign. Of course, there are some people who have a scuffed corner for the terrorist movement. They will never appreciate this. They always have a soft corner for them. But people who love democracy, peace, and decent way of life have all appreciated the role played by the armed forces and the police. All three forces and the police work together to achieve that particular goal. You belong to the nation. You belong to the motherland. Your service is toward the motherland and the nation. The Prime Minister said the Sri Lanka army is a disciplined force and no one can do anything according to their whims and fancies or irresponsibly. <laughs> the Prime Minister was addressing the graduation ceremony for course number three of the Defence Service Command and Staff College at the college's main auditorium in Sapugaskanda yesterday. The Malavata Mahanaika tells opposition leaders that the people cannot be duped by false promises. 
A group of opposition members, including Ranil Vikramasinghe, paid a curtsy call on the Malvata Mahanaka Thera. On this occasion, the most venerable Thipa Tuave Shri Sumankala Mahanaka Thera had announced his stand. The Mahanaika told the members of the opposition not to hoodwink the public by giving false promises. What is possible should be promised. Then only the people can trust them. If so, he told them that they will not face repercussions. Politicos usually mislead the public. But today the masses are intelligent and educated. As such, the prelate said that it is not possible to mislead them. M. Sivalingam, Secretary of the Trade Union, led by Mano Ganeshan, has expressed solidarity with President Mahindra Rajapaksha. Mr. Sivalingam was a close aide of Mano Ganeshan over the past several years. Mr. Sivalingam says he will support President Rajapaksha at the upcoming presidential elections to ensure his victory and that of the government. Well, are watching Prime News and still on the local segment, the UNP on the 8th of July last year made an accusation in Parliament that it was a group of the army commander which was hindering media personnel. Minister Lakshman Yapabe Wadhana made a clarification to journalists in Colombo today on the statement made by UNP parliamentarian Joseph Michael Pereira. Minister Lakshman Yapa made a reference to statement made by Joseph Michael Pereira in Parliament on July 8th, 2008. He was a speaker and would not make any false statement. What he said was that a special group operating under the army commander was adapting and seriously injuring journalists who write articles criticizing the government and criticizing the army when analyzing security information. If so, the minister queried whether they can expect media and democratic freedom from the person mentioned by Joseph Michael Pereira. He directly said that it was they who had abducted journalists. The minister emphasized that these statements had not been made by the government. The price of a cylinder of laugh gas has been reduced. Minister Bandula Gunawadana said that the 60 rupee price reduction is effective from midnight tomorrow. The minister said that accordingly the price of a cylinder of laugh gas will cost 1,421 rupees. He reminded that the price of a cylinder of laugh gas in September last year was 1,859 rupees. Therefore, he pointed out that the consumers will now enjoy a price reduction of 438 rupees. In the meantime, the price of petrol has already been reduced by 15 rupees from midnight yesterday. The price of a litre of octane 90, which was 130 rupees, is now 115 rupees. A litre of octane 95 has been reduced from 148 rupees to 133 rupees. The government's desire is to control the cost of living by providing much relief to the public through the reduction of petrol and gas prices. Sri Lanka launches a tourism program in western China. The effort has been undertaken by the newly established Consulate of Sri Lanka in Chengdu. A promotion workshop was organized on the 16th of this month at the consulate premises. The workshop was the first ever of its kind organized by Sri Lanka in the Sichuan province. It was attended by over 60 representatives from local travel agencies, media and airlines. Presiding over the event, Deputy Minister Hussein Bahila elaborated on the recent developments of Sri Lanka, particularly on the peaceful post-conflict environment prevailing throughout the country. Emphasizing on the wide-ranging tourist attractions and unique travel experiences Sri Lanka has to offer, the debut minister invited the Chinese travel agencies of Western China to work together with Sri Lanka Tourism in promoting the island in Sichuan province 
and the neighboring provinces. He invited the travel agencies and the media to visit Sri Lanka on a familiarization tour, which would help them gain first-hand experience on the country. The Deputy Director General of Sichuan Foreign Affairs Office, Tan Sin, and the Vice Director of Tourism Administration of Sichuan Province, Wu Mian, shared their experience and feeling on Sri Lanka and described as a beautiful island and a friendly neighbor who has continued to build strong relations with China. Well, up next is Prime World.